What is going on, my dudes? This is Cupcake coming at you live from Sardegi. Um, back at it again here uh, with... Hold on. I need to get rid of this here. Okay. There we go. My headset was connected to my... Uh, to my lovely phone. Um, I need to do something here real quick. I guess my counter is done. Uh, let's see. Get that. Remove you. Okay. Welcome to Gordini Monday. Um, I am so excited right now because guess what? We have got just about a full lobby. We've got a full lobby full of racers here. We're going to be taking Renault R8 Gordinis around a bunch of different tracks tonight. We're just going to race them. We're going to have fun. Um, we're, it's tuned. It's BOP. Um, it's vote track, which is great. So we're going to be running about four or five different races. And the main event is going to be determined later on. So, let's see who we got here. Um, so we've got uh, we got our eyes here on old Scratchy Basket, who uh, seems to be going into the dirt there. These cars are not easy to handle. So, checking it out here. Uh, he's got a nice looking livery on it. I like it. it it's different. Uh, Scratchy Basket also happens to be my little brother. So, nice to see him out and about racing with us tonight. I think it's going to be a good time. Like I said, it's a, it's just a fun little series. It's not for uh, points. It's not for seriousness. We're just going to go out, throw these cars around, have fun, do whatever. So, we're going to start here at 13th, 12th. We got V. Francisco. Uh, this dude's a baddie. On a... Uh, on the track so I'll see him in the front Troy Kelly I've never raced with him before at least I don't think so uh, rocking a nice looking livery on that uh, on that Gordini Jerome Power got that nice purple color I think he's trying to suck up to the commentator because little does he know the commentator's favorite color is purple uh, J-Rod in another purple Gordini. See, he knows my favorite color is purple. He is trying to, uh, he's trying to get brownie points, and that ain't gonna work with me, homie. Uh, now we're gonna go up to Joey Cannoli here in his cop car inspired livery. We've got King Black with, I'm not sure what kind of livery that is. That almost, okay, Vodafone. I'm about to say Tinder. <laughs> uh, Night Kid in fifth. Running a very nice, simple livery while going into a wall. Uh, Zalix running fourth. Let's see what he's got here. Got a nice looking livery. David Hendricks, taxi inspired livery. And then Oh So Fast. Who is looking Oh So Fast? Nate Jonas just joined the party there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. This one I think is my favorite by RWB Goat Stalker. Um, he is. He's got a nice rust inspired. Inspired livery. And there's my homeboy, Scratchy. Let's go on board with him. Little bit of understeer there, but manages to, to hold it together. Good job. Going into this turn here, he's keeping it right in the middle, cutting the apex. Nice turn. Okay, just doing a quick audio check. Um, speaking of which, I know I got a good friend of mine here commenting. There we go. We'll put that in there. So, let's see where we at here. Um, just gonna send them a simple message. And look at Francisco. He is Tokyo drifting that sucker around the track. It's good stuff. Good stuff. 
and he's just kind of throwing it around. Like he just don't care. Meanwhile, let's see here. Nothing else, really. No, not, nothing's really going on here. Um, I do like Kichuichi's livery. It's very nice, very simplistic. So, why don't I go uh, quiet here for a few minutes? Y'all can uh, enjoy the sound of the engines. And here we go, we're getting ready to start the final here in any second now. Let's turn our lovely charts on and our statistics. And we are going racing at Sardegna B for Gorgini Mondays. This is the first uh, race of the stream. So who do we got starting in first? We got old Ghost Stalker, Master Jedi Scratchy in third. Looky there. Uh, Troy Kelly... Jerome, Kitch, Joey Canoli, Night Kid. That rounds out the top eight. And I seem to be having more camera issues. Uh, so we will, uh, there we go. We're going to spectate, and they're off. So looking at it here, uh, Goatstalker got to an amazing start heading into this uh, first little section. I expect there to be carnage uh, going into this uh, turn. So let's see how everybody goes. Uh, Yep, somebody's already in the wall, and it looks to be... Ooh! Oh! Yikes! That looks to be David Hendricks. And the scratchy basket there drops to 14th. All good. Goat Stalker, meanwhile, he's got a very, very commanding lead over Master Jedi. Uh, he's running at about a second and a half. He lost a little bit of ground there. Not much. But if we take a look back here... He's getting chased by like 13 other dudes, so he is in for a nightmare of a race. Uh, that lead is dwindling down some. He's about 0.8 seconds ahead of Master Jedi. Master Jedi, ooh, goes a little bit wide. Didn't quite hit the dirt there, but cost him a couple tenths of a second. So let's run down the order here for uh, lap one of four. Troy Kelly has now passed Master Jedi for second. They are straight drag racing each other. King Black is fourth, Francisco fifth, J Rod sixth, David Hendricks seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. He seemed to have died. Um, so, with that being said, we got Oso oh Fast, Joey Canoli, uh, Zalix, Kituation, Jerome, Night Kid, and Scratchy Basket. Rounding out your uh, grid there, going into the second lap. Meanwhile, the Goat Stalker's killing it. He's about two and a half seconds ahead of Master Jedi. Master Jedi, meanwhile, looks to be having the ride of his life. Yep, there he goes. Oh no. J Rod, meanwhile, manages to get past King Black for uh, third place. Francisco is on the hunt. And it looks like we got a little bit of a battle brewing here for third place. Let's take a look here. I want to see what we got going on in terms of battle. Kituation getting all over Troy Kelly. 
Jerome's 10th, Master Jedi 11th, so they're spread out there. I think the biggest battle we're looking at is between J-Rod and Al Francisco. Uh, J-Rod is killing it going into this, uh, this little left-hand turn here. So there he goes, takes that apex quite nicely. And let's see here, he's on a purple lap going into this turn. He's drifting a little bit, just barely touches the sand. But he's got King Black on his tray. Goes so fast. Joey Cannoli, Zalix, Troy Kelly, situation. Ooh, we got a good one here. Looks to be between, it was between David Hendricks and Master Jedi. Master Jedi is going to go and hunt down Jerome Power. Uh, which, you know, Jerome better hope to God he's not a Sith or some crap. Master Jedi ain't gonna have any of his stuff. So here they are drag racing down into the finish line here. They are neck and neck with each other. This is awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. So let's take a look here. Looks like Jerome's going to back off a little bit. He's going to take the inside line, though. Going to look to pass Master Jedi. Cannot get it done. Or, wait, no. He does get it done. But, oh, we got a yellow flag. Who could that be? Uh, looks to be gone now. So, we got Kituation duking it out here with Troy Kelly. Trying to nab that 8th place spot. Manages to do that because it looked like Troy Kelly just went to the dirt. Uh, Jerome, ooh, a little bit of contact there between himself and David Hendricks, as well as Master Jedi. So, let's, uh, let's look behind in Jerome's view. And let's see, what do we got? We got Jerome going to the inside, getting a little bit squirrely, but he's got it. He has got it in the bag. Looks like Master Jedi went to the dirt there, lost a few positions no no my mistake that was Troy Kelly that got into the uh, into the dirt so while they're battling here mid pack let's uh let's take a look here and see if we got anything else going on final lap here pe penalty on uh, Francisco right now about 0.9 seconds gets into the dirt there uh, ooh, narrowly misses J-Rod. J-Rod's going to take second. Meanwhile, Goat Stalker has been dominating this race at Sardegna. And he looks to have just a little less than two seconds of a lead on J-Rod. So as long as he can keep it under control, he should be fine. Uh, J-Rod, meanwhile, he's got about a, I'd say about a, you know, one second lead over Francisco. King Black, he's in no man's land at the moment. He's running about two and a half seconds behind Francisco. Three seconds ahead of Zalix. Zalix is about two and a half seconds ahead of Osofast. Osofast has an angry cannoli on his hand. Or, uh, yeah, in his hands. Uh, Kituation doesn't seem to be in any kind of desperation. Uh, David Hendricks, he's out in no man's land right now. Jerome Power is duking it out still with Troy Kelly. Troy Kelly is looking to get past Jerome Power uh, and wants that 10th spot. And then we got Master Jedi and then good old Scratchy Basket, which he is trying ever so hard. But you know what? It's all good. I think his transmission's not right. Yeah, he's going to have to do something about your tra his transmission. I think that's what's killing him. But look at that, Goat Stalker takes first place, followed by J-Rod, Francisco, King Black, Zalix, Osofast, Joey Cannoli, Kituation, David Hendricks, Master Jedi, Troy Kelly, Jerome Power, and Scratchy. God, that was a lot of action. Uh, oops. So let's go in here.
let's take a look here. Where is old Scratchy Basket? There we go. Good race. Uh, good, good race. And looks like he is... He's full throttle, but just does not have the power. Um, hmm. But, no, I, I think it's somebody, which I know somebody will try to hook him up with a tune. Uh, I think he'll do a lot better. Yeah, because that, that tune is just not working out for him. But congratulations, Goat Stalker, on the uh, dub there. Good stuff. So there you have it, folks. That is the official finishing list. So where are we going to go next? I don't know. We're going to vote. So, and guess what? Old Cupcake here can vote as well. So let's see. Uh, Let's see what they're uh, what they're gonna vote on. And all right, yep, here we go. So we're gonna vote. Let's see what everybody's gonna pick here. So we don't have any kind of votes going on. We've got one for Sakuba. We got one for Central Inner Loop, three for Central Inner Loop. Uh, South Inner Loop is one. And I'm not seeing any kind of other votes here. Uh, we got Sardegna, Road Track B. Uh, we're going to be the great equalizer here. I want to. Let's go Central Inner Loop. This is going to be fun. This is going to be good stuff. While they're doing that, I'm going to take a drink here. This track is going to be something else. It's going to be something else. I'm going to hop in my Gordini here. I will take you guys out on a lap myself and show you what this track is like. Um, sports medium. We're going to do super softs. Wall riding heaven. You bet. So let's enter here. So we're going to go out. This car has absolutely... Uh, no tunes at all, so I'm probably going to get ran over. This track is literally what that guy said, what T-Bone said, Wall Riders Heaven. Um, but it's a very fun track, especially when it's wet. Um, going through this turn here, we're going to go and cut into the apex here. We're going to go through the tunnel. Um, we're going to take this outside line here. We're going to dive right in full throttle and which I mean it's not gonna take much to keep it on full throttle oh cars going in the air hitting the wall look at that that's good stuff that is good stuff guys um, so going over and keep this a cockpit view it's going to the straight here it's gonna be pretty slow I got people all over me I'm gonna throw my flashers on and I'm gonna drive like I live in Ohio so my left lane they're gonna have to pass me and there ain't nothing you can do about it boy so look at these cars just racing by on the track and somebody seems to have messaged me Cutting it on the inside, we're going to keep it on the inside, we're going to go right to the outside, we're going to drift a little bit, we're going to try not to die, we're going to drift, get sideways in the air, oh god, and, ooh, that was kind of harrowing, and that's a lap of Tokyo Expressway Central Outer Loop, so, while we're doing that, why don't we put on some music here while we wait? Uh, for the race to start so let's uh, let's uh, do some stuff here um,
So I'm going to go uh, solo here for a little bit, and we'll let the music play.
Okay, we're back. Um, figured I'd give a good intermission there in between practices and whatnot. Uh, so in between breaks there, I'll be putting on some music there. We'll just enjoy the uh, sights and sounds of the the pickles. And here we go. Um, so we're getting ready to start here in T minus five, four, three, two, one, begin. Here we go. Racing here at Tokyo Expressway Central Interloop. So look at all those Gordinis on that tight and narrow track. It's going to be something else. So taking a look here, we got Oso Fast qualifying first, Kitch second, Scratchy third. Scratchy is kicking it, man, as far as qualifying. Um, that's good stuff. So taking a look here, three, two, one, and go. And we're stuck. Red flag. Uh huh. Okay, so look like maybe somebody uh, didn't jump in or maybe forgot to jump in, but it's all good. It happens. Um, we need T Bone to get out. There we go. So race has been canceled, and looks to be Zalix. I forgot to uh, jump in. gotta have a little bit of fun there with everybody so in case you're wondering who we are we are rwb racing we are a racing team league club whatever you want to call it um we do have legitimate events points races uh, we recently uh dived into sfr which is hosted by demo one garage and yesterday at the official start to sfr this was the first official race for RWB Racing. Our very own T64 Turbo walked away with a win. So congratulations there. And let's see what I'm talking about. Oh, ho, whoa, ho. Okay, uh, that needs to, uh, let, let's, let's adjust that. Uh, let's, uh, let, let's keep that rated PG there. So... We're getting ready to start here any minute now, but RWB, pretty much, we, we love to race. We're just a bunch of guys that want to have a good time, race clean, race fast, learn the tricks of the trade. So, if you guys don't see it also, if you want to join, there's a room ID at the bottom left-hand corner. I will leave it there for the next 15 or 20 seconds. You can jot it down, you can record it, do whatever you want, I don't care. Um... Let's see, okay, so we're getting ready to start here any minute. Now we need J-Rod and Francisco to jump in, and we should be good. But, yeah, if you're ever interested in joining RWB Racing, give us a like on this Facebook page. If you want to keep up with the events that we stream, I'm going to be streaming a lot of the races here. Um, I've taken a little bit of a break from racing, just got a little burnout. So I figured, hey, let's jump in, let's stream. Until I feel I can go back to racing regularly again. So, yeah, give our page a like. Um, I did include a sign up button on the page that will redirect you to our group where you can go and just fill out a couple questions and, and you can join in on the fun. We run anything from what you see here Gordini's to Super Formula cars. Uh, Super Formula seems to be our main event. Uh, we get a lot of attention in that race, or in that series, I should say. But looking at it here, um, yeah, we need to we need to keep that blocked. So let's let's expand that a little bit. This is a rated PG uh, stream here, or at least trying to keep it rated PG. Um, okay. Reverse grip based on previous results. That's going to make it fun. That's going to make it so much fun. But let me introduce myself here while we're waiting. I'm RWB Cupcake. So, 
I am pretty much the main photographer. I'm the owner of this page. I am not the owner of RWB Racing. I created this page to um, kind of reach out to people, if you, that's what you want to call it. Um, show, show everybody what we've got. So, you know, I run my own little livery. I run pretty much a simple white, black, red inspired livery. Also run under my own moniker of Team Anna Racing, which is just a little personal thing of mine. Um, I race for uh, scoliosis awareness, uh, specifically children's scoliosis awareness. So my youngest sister had that. I've seen the effects it has on children with scoliosis. And I've also seen the major improvements on recovery. So, with that being said, that's what I race for. If you ever see a white, red, and black inspired car, and it's got uh, the Children's Scoliosis Foundation on the hood, that's me. Um, also, I can't sit here and dabble on about myself without mentioning Flex Tape. They are my, uh, pretty much my official sponsor for any kind of race league. Um, I always make sure I have a Flex Tape logo on there. Um, They've been uh, more than happy to have their product labels on my vehicles. Uh, whew, okay, I need to change that. But yeah, that is uh, that is who I am. I am pretty much the mastermind behind a lot of the uh, photos. And I am also the mastermind of some of these streams. I recently got into streaming there about a couple weeks ago on the computer. Before then, I had YouTube videos where we had party chats. We had, you know, my perspective, but it got a got a little bit boring after a while. So doing this streaming live on Facebook, it's gonna it's gonna spice things up a bit. But here we go. We're gonna start racing over at Tokyo uh, Central Interloop. Uh, look at those groups of cars. I tell you, this is going to be a bloodbath, but dang it, I think it's going to be fun. So, we've got T-Bone first, Night Kid second, Scratchy third, Lucky Dare. And they are going to be off here any second now. What is the holdup? There we go. Two, one, they're off. T-Bone getting a wonderful start there, uh, jumping almost immediately to about at least a second, second and a half ahead of Night Kid. Night Kid, meanwhile, gets a little bit of contact there. Scratchy passes him for second, and we've got another red flag. Okay, well, I guess, ah, uh, stuck car. Okay, that explains it. So, gotta love old GT Sports uh, lobby settings. All right, hopefully third time's a charm. Put mechanical damage on strong, then turn off. I have never heard of that uh, technique. Let's see here. Was that side contact penalty is off? Car collision penalty is none. Yeah, that should work. Now all we need is Master Jedi to uh, jump in here, jump into the race. There we go. We're ready. Good deal. And we're going. All right. T minus five, four, three, two, one, zero. And here we go again. Let's see what we've got here. Still got a bunch of Gordinis. 
on this very tight and narrow track. But you know what? You know what? I think we should vote for Willow Springs Horse Shoe Thief and see what happens. I'll be the first one to vote for that, and I'll see how many others want to do it. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's go to the first spot, and they're off T-Bone, getting off to a blistering start there. Uh, we have got Scratchy Basket in second. He's got the inside line. Night Kid is chasing him for uh, second place. Ooh, looked like Master Jedi got pinched. We got Jerome Power getting into it. Slides! And causes, almost causes a uh, horrible wreck. Meanwhile, we've got Francisco in 11th, Zalex 12th, Goat Stalker 13th, J Rod 14th, Jerome 15th. Tebow, meanwhile, is killing it. Scratchy is doing a really good job there. I mean, he's hitting the walls a little bit, but he's got Night Kid on his tail. And there he goes. Night Kid passes him for second place. Scratchy, meanwhile, he is fighting. He wants that podium spot. That'll be his first podium with the group and quite possibly in the game. But David Hendricks is not going to let him go off too easy. David Hendricks slides right past him, and I mean literally. Uh, Troy Kelly is going to get around Scratchy there, or at least try to. They are drag racing right now uh, for fourth spot. So looking at it here, we've got people drag racing each other down through this track he gets a little bit sideways contact look to be a night kid francisco meanwhile he just jumped up to uh ooh, what happened there uh jumped up to about seventh place scratchy meanwhile drops down to fifth situations running in eighth and look at these gordinis they are killing it around this track they're all looks to be uh wall riding Zalix, Oh So Fast, Goat Stalker, Master Jedi, J Rod, Night Kid. Tebow, meanwhile, he's got a very commanding lead here of 3.8 seconds. David Hendricks, he's about 0.8 of a second ahead of King Black. King Black, meanwhile, he's about 1.6 seconds ahead of Troy Kelly. Troy Kelly, meanwhile, he's got an angry pack of Gordini's just chasing him down. Oh, and it looks like Scratchy may have taken the advice of some people that were tuning these cars. Uh, looks like he's got a lot more speed this time around. Uh, situation though, he is gaining on him, trying to take that sixth position. Oh, so fast running, and pretty much that's all we got as far as groups. Look at Francisco, Scratchy, Kitch, Troy. And let's go into the mind here of Scratchy Basket. He is turning that car. He's getting it sideways a little bit. Kituation's going to take that opportunity up. Yep, he's going to fully take that opportunity to uh, try to pass Scratchy there for that fifth spot. And it looks like we got ourselves a drag race there. Kituation slides on by with relative ease. Francisco gets it to the wall, slows him down a little bit. But not too much. David Hendricks, meanwhile, he's going to be going after RWB King Black. He is our newest member of the group. Welcome, by the way. Um, he is showing everybody up right now, running in second place. Um, I believe this is his first big event with the group. I may be wrong. I think he ran in the Saturday race, but not 100% sure. But he is absolutely killing it at this point. David Hendricks, he, this is his redemption race right now. He had a horrible race um, over at Sardegna B. Francisco, meanwhile, he, just, he went from 12th place to 4th. So he is one angry Canadian at the moment. Kituation, he doesn't seem to be any kind of desperation. Even though the formation caused him to go into a situation, he's now managed to climb up to 5th. Scratchy Basket, 6th. Is Alex 7th, Troy Kelly not too far behind at 8th, Oso's 9th, J Rod 10th, Night Kid 11th, Joey Cannoli, and that beautiful police livery. I love it. Uh, Goat Stalker is running in 13th. So looking at it here, we're in the final lap of the race. We got Tebow. He is absolutely.
seem to have... There we go, okay. So, I seem to have a little bit of a uh, malfunction there with my headphone, but no worries. Uh, King Black right now, still running in second. David Hendricks is third. Francisco is fourth. Situation fifth. Scratchy still doing pretty darn good considering his last race. He's running a six right now. Um, he looks to be about two and a half seconds ahead of Zalix. And then Troy Kelly, Oso, J Rod, Night Kid, Joey Canoli, Ghost Stalker, and that be it. So we have got ourselves a pretty good battle here for third place. Looks to be uh, Francisco chasing down David Hendricks, trying to take that third position going into the last turn here. Somebody wiped out. Who was it? Looked to be King Black. And Francisco takes the opportunity. No. No. David Hendricks drifts on by for second place. Meanwhile, that's going to put Francisco in third. Kituation is going to be finishing fourth. Scratchy Basket on his way to his first top five race in RWB. Finishing fifth. Good job. Good job. And yes, I know he's my brother and yada yada yada, but I gotta look at it from a different view. Um, you know, he's he's new to the series. You know, I I he got the classic handover uh, for me with the PlayStation 4 because I upgraded to a PlayStation 4 Pro. He got my old system, and the first thing I bought for him was Gran Turismo, and I said, you're going to be on that. Um, you know, just have some fun, and congrats to T-Bone, by the way. Killer performance. Killer performance. And, uh, you know, he, he joined RWB, and, you know, we're really glad to have him here. So, good work, everybody. Now, this is where my evil work comes in. Because I get to make everybody in the stream angry. So, we're going to go... Oh, ho, ho. Colorado Springs. <laughs> Night Kid had the same idea. And, let's see. Big Willow. Spa. spa. Laguna Seca. Blue Moon. Sardegna B. Laguna Laguna. Big Willow. It looks to be no Colorado uh, for us this time around. Darn. So. Let's see how how much uh, time we got here. So we got 10 minutes. So I'm going to go mute here for a little bit. And yeah, I'll go ahead and play some music here for a few minutes, and actually, this one's going to be special. This is from a dude that I'm friends with on PlayStation by the name of Chill Gemini 99 uh, Does a lot of his own music, so he does a lot of Vaporwave inspired by, like, Gran Turismo 1, Gran Turismo 2. Uh, so enjoy.
Okay, we're back. Um, had to cut the video there a little bit short. Uh, looks like we're going to be starting soon, but yeah, like I said, that music was courtesy of Chilled Gemini 99 That is his PSN ID. Like I said, he makes pretty cool, uh, pretty cool, like, jazz, vaporwave kind of music. It gives me that Gran Turismo 2 vibe, in a sense. Uh, Gran Turismo 2, I mean, that holds a very special place in my heart. I remember playing that when I was, like, five years old or six years old. Uh, getting that legendary Suzuki Escudo. Uh, falling in love with one of my all-time favorite uh, LMP cars, being the Toyota TSO20 GT1. Uh, great stuff. Great cars. Great game. So, we're getting ready to start the final here. I'm going to exit out. That way my camera does not mess up on me. And let's see. We still got a full lobby here, man. This is awesome. This is good stuff. So, we are live here, looks like. We've got a whole bunch of Gordinis here on the track. And everybody flashing their lights. Uh, Mia Hoth and Master Jedi, Goat Stalker, Joey Cannoli, Night Kid rounds out top five. J-Rod, Oso, and Troy Kelly round out the top eight. And, alright, more camera issues. Well, this is something out of my control, unfortunately. So... They're off, and we're already going five wide into this first sector. Scratchy is getting his face kicked in at the moment. Let's see how it starts off here. Miahoff gets to a blistering start going around this first turn, as well as Jedi, Goat Stalker, Joey Cannoli, J-Rod. Situation, Troy Kelly, and it looks like we've got Night Kid and David Hendricks into the grass, as well as Francisco. I shouldn't say grass. It's more like... Sand. Uh, ooh, more collisions. Good lord. It is a wreck over here at the moment. Everybody just getting in a bit of a rush there. We've only got four laps, so it's going to be straight sprint races, and yeah, they're going to call a red. Um, I, which I don't blame them. That was a that's kind of a messy start to the uh, to the race. Let's see here. What are they going to do? Everybody's getting out. Everybody's... Yep, everybody's slowly getting out. We need Meyerhoff to get out of the race. And is that going to happen? There we go. Alright, so race has been cancelled. Let's take a look here. We are getting ready. Oh, uh, we've got a message, perhaps? Yep. Uh, yeah, I should call it. Oh, no, I don't want to call the Reds. Nah. So I think we're going to be... Yep, we're waiting on Master Jedi here to uh, jump into the race. And here we go. We're getting ready to start the uh, final here. Let's see if I can get into... Yes, okay, cool. Yeah, come on, GT, there we go. So let's start there first. And 
We're getting ready to start here any minute now. Let's see where we're going. Okay. So they're off. Oh, spin out already between the situation and look like uh, Zalix. So that was a pretty bad start there for uh, Kitch. Meanwhile, everybody is just going through these turns like it's nobody's business and we've already got a few wrecks here people going into the sand and collisions everywhere uh, Okay, so we got ourselves another red flag. Um, I don't think this is a good track to run to be running these Gordinis on. But uh, looks like they're still gonna go here. Uh, so I thought they were going to call a red there, but I guess not. Mia Hoff is uh, right in first place there. Goat Stalker and David Hendricks are duking it out for second place. We got T Bone fourth, King Black fifth, Oso sixth, Troy Kelly seventh, Zalix eighth, J Rod ninth, Kituation tenth, Francisco is eleven, Scratchy is twelfth, Night Kid is thirteenth, and ooh, a little bit of squirreliness there between Scratchy and Night Kid. Meanwhile, we have got some good battles here going on for uh, second place. Let's take a look here. So, David Hendricks, Goat Stalker, King Black. Got a whole lot of battles here. We do have, uh, looks to be a developing battle here between J-Rod and Zalix, and that's exactly what's gonna what it's gonna be. We've got a little bit of a yellow flag there. I wonder what happened. Uh, can't quite catch what's going on. Somebody is sideways. It looks to be Mia Hoff. Mia Hoff has now dropped all the way down to a just about last place. So taking a look here, we got Oh So Fast, and then... King Black, J-Rod, meanwhile, he has managed to pull away from uh, good old Zalix. Troy Kelly is 8th. And not a whole lot of action here going on this time around. Looks like everybody's trying to play it safe here. T-Bone is first place right now. And he's, ooh, he's flirt with danger going into this first turn here. He's got David Hendricks right on his tail. What is David going to do? Nothing at the moment. He's going to try and go on the inside, gets him to a little bit of contact. Is David Hendricks going to pass for first? He does not. So that, that means T-Bone is still going to stay in first place. But gets into the sand, and David Hendricks is now taking the first place spot. Goat Stalker, meanwhile, he is chasing down T-Bone. He's got about a second gap between himself and T. Uh, King Black still running in fourth. J-Rod Six and the Oso Fast fifth. Uh, Zalix, Kituation, Troy, Francisco, Night Kid, and Scratchy Basket. So Scratchy Basket's still managing to keep up pretty well. It's good stuff. Uh, David Hendricks, though, he is now a good two seconds or 2.2 seconds away from T Bone. So going into the famous corkscrew, and look how steep that turn is. They say it's like two stories steep however you want to call it, but a little bit of that corner cutting got him a, a half a second penalty. T-Bone, meanwhile, he has now got Goat Stalker on his heels. Goat Stalker is going to go to the inside past T-Bone as he goes into the sand and looks to be uh, oh so fast as in fourth. King Black has now went to the sand as well. So, oh so fast has now moved into fourth position. Going into the last lap here, let's see... Uh, 
what we've got going on. We got David Hendricks, Goat Stalker, T Bone, Oso, King Black, J Rod, Zalex, Kitch, Troy Kelly, Francisco, Night Kid, Scratchy. So the pack seems to be uh, spreading pretty thin there. Ghost Stalker takes second place away from T Bone. And Oh So Fast is right on T Bone's tail. T Bone's gonna ghost out a little bit. Oh So Fast gets a little bit drifty, but manages to keep it safe. Good stuff. King Black, meanwhile, he's really got nothing going on at the moment. But J Rod is going after King Black here. Looking to uh, take fifth place away. So let's see what goes on here. Let's see what happens. Going into there, and then going into the corkscrew. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna try to outbreak? Uh, doesn't look to be the case though. But boy, he takes that corkscrew well. King Black, meanwhile, gets into the sand and allows J Rod to pass him for fifth place. We got a yellow flag there. Uh, looked like uh, Oh So Fast is now taking second place from T Bone and Goat Stalker. Goat Stalker uh, looks to be in the grass or the sand still. He's going to be dropping down positions. T Bone goes into pit, giving J Rod looks to be third place. So, congratulations, David Hendricks, there on the uh, win. Oh So Fast second, J Rod third, T Bone sitting in the pits. Is he going to cross? Oh, he got 4th place. Zalix 5th. King Black 6th. Kitch 7th. Goat Stalker 8th. Uh, he just had a horrible mistake there at the last lap. Uh, Francisco is going to be 9th. Night Kid will be 10th. And Scratchy will be 11th. So good work. Good, good work. That was good stuff. Looks like T-Bone has now left the room. We had 10 finishers. So, good stuff. Good, good stuff. There is your official uh, results. Congratulations there to good old David Hendricks, 1983. Started in last. Or, wait, no. Started from the bottom. Now he's here. So we're going to vote track here. I'm going to choose Willow Springs. I'm going to choose the Horse Thief Mile because, by God, I want to see these cars on that track. And what are we going to do? Are we going to vote? They're all probably catching their breath after that, uh, after that race. And what, 12 laps, is this the feature, oh, this is going to be the feature race. So this is where my sadistic side comes in and says, Horse Thief. And everybody's going to vote Sardegna Road Track B2. Okay, well, I seem to be the odd man out. We're going to go into a practice here. I'm going to play a couple songs while they're practicing. And yeah. So this is going to be the grand finale here. This is going to be the final race of the stream. And this is going to be some good stuff. And okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, that's fine too. So. Enjoy a classic funky song here by none other than Daft Punk as soon as I get word of are they gonna practice or are they not Let's see Francisco's getting ready to type might do a legit qualifying and then Okay, so we got five minutes. So, like I said, enjoy this music.
this one's going to be for the marbles. This will be our last race of the uh, stream here. Uh, we've been going on this stream here for probably about an hour and a half now. Yeah, hour and 24 minutes. So this is going to be a 12 lapper uh, with the Gordini. So this will be the final race of Gordini Mondays. Whoever wins this wins the event. Yes, I said it was uh, for fun here. But, I mean, come on. you got to win something. So we got Joey Canoli first, Troy Canoli second, Scratchy third, Night Kid fourth, Francisco fifth, Goat Stalker sixth, Kid seventh, King Black eighth. That rounds out the top eight. And they're off. Joey Canoli here uh, looks to be uh, going off to a great start. Never mind. There comes Scratchy Basket out of nowhere, passing Joey Canoli for uh, second place. So it's everybody going in. Oh, restart. Did we have somebody stuck? Yes, looked like Zalix was stuck. So we're gonna red flag it here. We're gonna see uh, see what we do. Been getting a lot of stuck issues lately. It's kind of odd, but it's not really. I mean, that's for fun more than anything. Ooh, excuse me. So it looks like race has been canceled. We got Troy Kelly coming back into the room. Looks like we're waiting for Troy Kelly to join, and there we go. Okay, so they should be starting here any minute now. And there we go. All right, T minus seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, so we've got. There we go. That's what I wanted. Troy Kelly first. Joey Canoli second. Scratchy third. And then we get Knight fourth. Francisco fifth. Goat sixth. Kitch seventh. King Black eighth. That's going to be rounding out your top eight here. They're getting ready to go. Red lights are coming on. One. And we're off. Troy Kelly getting off to a good start there. Look like whoa, Francisco got the launch of his life. Uh, he is now shot up to second place, so he knows this race is for the marbles. Whoever wins this will win Gordini Monday. Meanwhile, we've got a little bit of a pack there. Oh, we got somebody getting into the dirt. Uh, Goat Stalker's right behind Kituation here at the moment. And did he tangle up with anybody else? He did not. So a little bit of contact there between David Hendricks and Joey Canoli going into this really sharp, I want to call it about a 90-degree turn, uh, which is uh, so now Francisco is running first Kituation second Ghost Stalker third David Hendricks fourth Joey Canoli fifth Zalix sixth Scratchy seventh Night Kid or no J-Rod eighth Night Kid ninth Troy Kelly tenth Oh So Fast eleventh King Black twelfth we have got some racing going on here folks uh, looks like we've got Scratchy basket, this poor dude. Oh, gets into the sand, keeps it, saves it. Good work. But meanwhile, that's going to allow J-Rod and Night Kid to go past him for 6th and 7th. And we got contact. Who was that between? Looked to be Francisco. So, meanwhile, looks like David Hendricks is now 7th, or 2nd. Goat Stalker is 1st. David Hendricks is going to go on the inside. And we got a drag race. We got a 3 way drag race here between Zalix Goat Stalker and David Hendrick. Zalix manages to go by Goat Stalker for second place. Meanwhile, he's going to try to pass David Hendricks here for first. Let's see how this turns out here. We're riding along with none other than Zalix trying to see if he gets that overtake done. He does not. Zalix gets, almost gets into the dirt there, but other than that, keeps it in first. Or, wait, David Hendricks nearly goes into the grass there. Uh, my apologies. 
Joey Canoli has now jumped into the third spot. Good Stalker is now in fourth. We got Francisco fifth, uh, which he is going to pass Goat Stalker here. Good work. Clean pass. J Rod is going to be running six here at the moment. And look like we got a spin out in the back. Who is that? Looks to be Kitch. Scratchy basket in a three wide battle here. We got a three wide battle for uh, looks to be ninth place between King Black, Troy Kelly, Scratchy Basket. Let's see what goes on here. Let's uh, let's ride along here with uh, Scratchy. Let's see how well he does. It gets a little bit loose. He's going to break going into this turn. Troy Kelly's going to get into the dirt there, get a little bit squirrely. Scratchy, whoa, takes that turn with ease. Manages to gain precious time on Troy Kelly. Troy Kelly, meanwhile, breaks a little bit early, catches Scratchy off guard, and into the sand he goes. Troy Kelly, meanwhile, he's going to be running in 10th, uh, but King Black looks to be pulling away from Troy Kelly there, sitting in 9th place. Meanwhile, we've got some stuff going on here in the front. Goat Stalker and J-Rod are going at it here for 4th place. Uh, Goat Stalker looks to, looks to me like he's going to beat J-Rod there to this turn. Uh, are they going to go into the grass? They do not. Good work, Francisco. Meanwhile, he's running in 6th place right now. And he is on the hunt. He had a start for the ages at the beginning of the race, jumping from almost dead last to second place. But that uh, mistake there cost him dearly in the first lap uh, towards the end of it. So looking at it here, we got Oso, Night Kid, uh, King Black, Troy Kelly. We got Scratchy battling with Kituation for... Uh, for 11th place. Kituation's gonna get by Scratchy there. Scratchy, oh, contact! He needs to let Kituation through, and looks like he's going to. Okay. Alright, so, let's see here. Um, okay, we need to let Kitch through. That is part of RWB racing here. If you do wreck, okay. So, uh, okay. So he does. Okay. Good. 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 It looks like Kituation has now went into the sand. Um, taking a look here, we've got some battles here. Uh, J Rod has managed to get past Ghost Stalker for fourth place. Goat Stalker is not going to let him go by so easily. Zalix, meanwhile, he is holding a pretty good gap there between himself and Joey Cannoli. Which, you know what, we need to give Joey Cannoli some love here. He always says he never gets enough love in the streams. I mean, look at this car. Look at this car. It, it's a police vehicle. But the ironic thing is, we got a taxi chasing him. So Joey can only running in second place. Um, he is trying to pull Zalix over for probably excessive speeding. Yeah, he's at the point now where he's going to start drifting his car around the turns. David Hendricks, meanwhile, he is just patiently waiting in the back with his taxi. You know, he's probably waiting for a client or a customer to come in and try to uh, try to gain a couple positions there. J-Rod, meanwhile, he's going to be running fourth. Goat Stalker, that's going to be running out the top five. We got oh so fast on Goat Stalker's tail. Goat Stalker gets into the dirt, crashes into the guardrail. That's going to drop him down to, looks to be eighth place. Francisco, meanwhile, he's going to be battling with oh so fast. And let's take a look here. Let's see what we've got as far as a battle. So Francisco, he's he's got speed. He's catching up to oh so fast. And going into this turn, he gets uh, plays it safe. Uh, does not want to get too overly aggressive going into that turn. That turn is very deceptive. You think you could take it at a fast pace, and then come to find out, it just it, this track will kick you right in the nards and tell you nope. Night Kid, he's going to be running his own little race here at second. King Black, he's, he's in his world as well, running eighth. Goat Stalker, ninth. Troy Kelly, tenth. Kituation, 
is 11th, Scratchy is going to be running 12th. And it looks like, looks like we all just got a car chase going on here between uh, a taxi and a cop car. Uh, looks to be David Hendricks is going to be, uh, he's going to try and pass Joey Canoli for second place. David Hendricks gets a little bit into the dirt, manages to miss the guardrail. Good work there. Going into this last set of uh, S's here before the sharp hairpin. David Hendricks gets a little bit squirrely, manages to catch up to Joey Canoli. Joey, meanwhile, he's, he's having a hard time keeping that car under control, but he's definitely, he's starting to lose some ground here to David Hendricks. Uh, David Hendricks is gaining on a big time, running every bit, see about 139, 140, 140 miles an hour in a Gordini. How does that happen? Joey Canoli gets into the dirt, allowing David Hendricks to take second place. Uh, meanwhile, J-Rod's going to go right past him for third. We are halfway through the race here, and meanwhile, Zalix, he is he's every bit four seconds ahead of David Hendricks here. So as far as races, what do we got going on? Or as far as battles, I should say. Don't have a lot here in terms of battles. Kichwayashi, he goes into pit. What's he gonna do? He's just gonna park it. Or no, no, there's fuel. So he's gonna be pitting. So we now have fuel and tire wear in the mix. Well, no, just fuel wear. So that's gonna, that's gonna change a lot. So Zalix right now, he is running first. He's got less than a quarter tank of fuel. Uh, David Hendricks, he's got more than a quarter tank, but gets into the wall. J-Rod and Joey Canoli are going to pass him for a second and third, as well as Oh So Fast. So Oh So Fast is going to get ahead of David Hendricks here. Uh, David Hendricks, meanwhile, drops down into six. So fuel situation, looking at it here, Zalix is going to have to pit within the next lap. Um, hate to say it, but that's what it is. He's already in the red. J-Rod, Joey Canoli, they could probably go about another lap or two. Night Kid, meanwhile, he's going to go ahead and... No, he's not going to go ahead and pit, so... King Black, fuel situations, they're all looking pretty good here. Look like Francisco, he might be fuel saving. I didn't see him pit. Uh, well, no, actually, I'm wrong. He did go ahead and pit. Troy Kelly running in 10th. We got Kituation 11th. He just filled up, so he's looking to undercut the competition. And then we got Scratchy Basket... 12th, he went ahead and pit. He's hoping to, uh, you know, kind of do that signature on uppercut or undercut against everybody else. Zalix, meanwhile, he is getting ready to lap Scratchy Basket here. So Zalix, meanwhile, he's going to have to get fuel. He is running dangerously low. I would not be surprised if he was to run out before he makes it to the pits. And that's just going to leave the door wide open for J Rod to go in and take first place. Uh, Joey, meanwhile, he's clearly using all the fuel that he has or defending his position against Osofast. Oh Osofast oh has way better fuel than Joey Canoli, but not too far behind is Night Kid, as well as King Black. So J-Rod here, let's see what Zalix does. He's going to go in a pit. J-Rod, is he going to go in? And he is, okay. As well, looks to be Joey Cannoli, Joey, and oh so fast, are going to go one more lap. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, Zalix, meanwhile, he was just about out of gas. That was, uh, that was something else. So we're only in lap 8 of 12, so we're about 75% of the way through. Or oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, okay, I was right. So, 75% of the way through. Uh, oh so fast is gonna try and get around Joey Cannoli and does he do it? Does he do it? He does. He takes first spot from Joey Cannoli. Meanwhile, Zalix is sitting pretty there in third place. He just fueled. He's hopefully got enough fuel to last the rest of the race. But he knows for a fact Joey Cannoli and Oh so fast need to pit. So meanwhile, we got J Rod and Night Kid. Night Kid's gonna have to pit here. He's gonna. He's going to be lost in the, uh, lost towards the back there. J-Rod, meanwhile, and Zalix look to be the ones fighting for first and second. Uh, just judging. There we go. 
Okay, my apologies there. I had uh, some issues with my microphone, but yep, there goes oh so fast, and Joey can only into the pits. Uh, they're probably gonna have to do a splash and dash more than anything. So we now got Zalix back into the lead there, as well as J Rod. J Rod's gonna be running in second right now. Oh so fast, just got out of the pits. They're running third. Meanwhile, Francisco's running fourth. David Hendricks fifth. Black six. Um. Night Kid 8th, we got Kituation, he he's in 10th spot right now, Scratchy Basket 11th, Troy Kelly 12th. Uh, Scratchy Basket looks to be battling here with Troy Kelly, Troy Kelly is bent on uh, trying to gain a position here, does not want to finish last, but I don't think Scratchy's going to go down without a fight, especially with uh, when he's got lap traffic to deal with, so Scratchy Basket has got Zalux right on his heels. What is Alex going to do? Is Alex going to try and pass him here at this point? Get into a little bit of contact. Nothing major. Um, let's see. Break, 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 break. There we go. You want to let your lap traffic through. Troy Kelly is going to go around for 11th place. We got J-Rod. J-Rod's got lap traffic holding him up at the moment, so that's going to hurt him big time uh, going later on in this race. So Troy Kelly, meanwhile, oh, Punted. Punted by J Rod. I'm not sure what happened there, but that's uh boy, that is unfortunate. It's oh so fast. He now takes second spot. J Rod's only about a second behind oh so fast here. Uh Francisco's fourth, Joey Canoli fifth, King Black sixth, David Hendricks seventh, Night Kid eighth, Goat ninth, uh Kitch tenth, Troy eleventh, Scratchy twelfth. So I'm not sure what happened there, but we've got a, it could be about two and a half laps remaining. Alex has got a very demanding lead, or commanding lead on Osofast. He's running about eight, eight seconds ahead. Osofast, meanwhile, is in second. He is getting ready to uh, try and pass Scratchy Basket here. Uh, he was now lapped down, unfortunately, but you know, they got a, oh, oh, yikes. Looked like Scratchy Basket had a, I spun out, but that allows J-Rod to take second place. Oh, so fast. Meanwhile, he is running a little over a second behind, but that might be a battle worth watching. Joey Cannoli is fourth. David Hendricks right behind Joey Cannoli, so they're still going at it with each other, uh, battling for fourth position. Let's take a look here, David Hendricks, King of Black, now we got Francisco in the mix, Francisco, he is looking to overtake King of Black here for 6th place. So on board here with Francisco, let's see what he is going to do, uh, not going to do anything too crazy, so he is looking to hopefully get past uh, King of Black for that precious sixth spot. Meanwhile, David Hendricks, he's kicking it. He's running fifth. Joey Canoli, he is uh, still running in fourth and looks to, uh, and is hoping to pass Joey Canoli here. Uh, Joey Canoli is dealing with lap traffic here with Troy Kelly. Uh, not sure what we got going on here. Um, ooh, David Hendricks goes in for the dive for fourth place. David Hendricks has now done it. Has Joey put on his sirens yet? Uh, does not look like it. So, I think uh, he's going to try and chase down David Hendricks here. Try to see if he can maybe retake that fourth spot. That lap traffic is not going to help, though. Oh. Not going to help. So let's see. So taking a look here. Scratchy pass. Zalix, he his lead has now grown to ten and a half seconds. J Rod is second. He's got about three seconds ahead of Osofast. Osofast, he might run out of fuel in a lap, so he's gonna have to preserve his fuel there if he wants to make it to the end of the race. So let's go here with uh, let's let's ride along here with Zalix, or at least take a look at him and see what all we've got going on. This is 
Alex right now commanding 10 and a half second lead looks to be growing to an 11 second lead over J-Rod. J-Rod, he's still running second, oh so fast third, David fourth, Cannoli fifth, Francisco sixth, King Black seventh, Night Kid eighth. And look at him go, he knows how to run this car. And his fuel situation, it looks to be a little bit sketchy, but it's not horrible. Not horrible at all. I think he's going to make it to the end of the race. So, I'm going to look at J-Rod's stats. So, he's just about neck and neck fuel-wise with each other. Uh, now, Zalux looks like he may have realized his fuel situation. And his lead has now dwindled about a second, second and a half. But looks to be growing again. So as he goes through the final S, is on into this final turn down the straight. He is going to be our Gordini Monday winner. So he is our second Gordini winner of the series. Look at him swerving. Good job, good job, Alex J Rod. Meanwhile, he's going to finish on the podium. So he'll be uh, second place there in the Gordini Monday challenge. Good job there. Flash those lights. You earned it. Oh, so fast. Running third. He's not going to do anything fancy. Okay. Joey can only... Let's see what he does. Put your sirens on, boy. Flash those lights. Swerving around. There you go. Good job. Francisco, fifth place. Great job. Black, sixth. David Hendricks, seventh. He ran out of fuel. But he's going to cross the line here. Hopefully... Okay, he does. So, Mike can eighth. Goat Stalker ninth let's take a look at goat here we got kitsch troy kelly scratchy scratchy's gonna be coming across the straight here goat stalkers going through the s's kitchuation 10th scratchy let's hear it for you good effort a uh, couple collisions there but you'll learn goat stalker he is going to be going down the straight here let's uh let's see the beautiful yellow lights of yours nothing oh he's gonna drift okay all right situation 10 so there you have it folks that was the main event of uh gordini monday so let's take a look here at uh zalix zalix racing team good work man good work also had the fastest lap went up eight spots to take the dub so there you have it um that was uh that was some good stuff there so, if you like what you see, um, come join us. Join our group. Have some fun. I think this is going to become a regular event, uh, considering it looks, like, <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. But this is your boy Cupcake signing out. Just let you all know, hashtag stand against scoliosis. I um, want to thank Flex Seal. Most importantly, RWB Racing for having me with the group for so long and putting up with my crap. And I might be streaming tomorrow, but I might leave that to my uh, my partner in crime, uh, Mr. Presidio, if he feels like it. But, yeah, like I said, like us on Facebook. We've got a website. Check out www.rwbracing.com where you'll find events, statistics of each of the drivers, myself included. And... Yeah, catch us on Twitter and catch us on Twitch. But so long, have a great night, and always stay safe.